Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah. All praise indeed is due to Allah. We send blessings and salutations upon Muhammad. Peace and blessings be upon him. Andrew Tate and Pierce Morgan, they had this long, tedious conversation back and forth after, after Andrew Tate was banned from all social media platforms. As you, all you guys know that Andrew Tate, uh, before the ban, he mentioned Muslims and Islam and uh, he, he much appreciated couple of credits that he gave to Islam. But we as Muslims, we don't take our religion from a non-Muslim person, respectively, because, uh, respectfully, because that person is not a Muslim. And uh, non-Muslims shouldn't take Islam from a non-Muslim person. Uh, he said a lot of you know derogatory terms and misogynistic uh, uh, statement about about the woman generally speaking that does not go hand in hand with Islam whatsoever, and uh, an, an unapologetic uh, review about that that uh, as a Muslim uh, we don't treat our woman as a property. This is not something that is in Islam whatsoever. Even though he mentioned this in the interview between him and Pierce Morgan, where he said that uh, he does not believe that the woman is a total property, but he said that this is something that is argued back and forth with the Bible and the Quran. The Quran does not say that the woman is a property. In Islam, the father does not hand in his daughter, walk her through the aisle and hand her to the husband like a property, like a product. This does not exist in Islam. Uh, the woman, you know, she's not a, 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 a product or uh, she does not take the last name of the husband in Islam. This is not Islamic whatsoever. It's not associated with the Quran. In Islam, she is the property of Allah. She is the property of God Almighty. Just like the male, he's, he is the property of Allah. He is the property of God Almighty. And when a husband marries a wife, he takes a covenant or he takes a, an oath and a covenant with witnesses that he takes his wife and he will provide and protect her and everything else that he mentioned about Islam could be correct with a certain context. In Islam, we don't look at a woman as a property. In Islam, she's not handed to the, to the male. And uh, to be honest, I, I didn't, uh, to be honest with, with uh, when reading the Bible, I didn't even see anything in the Bible that says that the woman is an actual property. There are things that I disagree with, such as, you know, the woman should shave off her hair, as Paul mentioned in the Bible, or the woman, she should not open her mouth, you know, rape is mentioned without condemnation, uh, incest cases, so many things that I personally don't agree with. But to be quite frank and honest, he said a couple of things that support those who believe in traditional masculinity. Uh, overall speaking, you know, the, the conversation went back and forth between Andrew Tate and Pierce Morgan. Uh, they mentioned, you know, uh, uh, they didn't mention Assam uh, in, the, in the video. They mentioned burqas and things like that as if it's something that is degrading for the woman. Uh, I do believe that there is a big gap and there is a big need for a person who is a Muslim, who is a Muslim, you know, uh, someone who understands Islam, that they should, you know, put out some content out there and then explain to non-Muslims that what Islam is all about with an unapologetic way of explaining things. Yes, we Muslims believe that the male has authority in his household. He has the final call, just like you have a captain in a ship. You can't have two captains in the same ship, otherwise the ship would sink. You can't have you know two CEOs in one company. This does not make no sense. No sense. Absolutely no sense. You can't have two presidents in a country. So we Muslims, we're not. It's not like we're hiding these kind of facts. And we Muslims believe that that uh, the woman is a sacred thing that God created. We believe that Islam came to protect, to cherish the woman, to elevate her in status, give her all her rights that she didn't get before Islam, such as inheritance rights, such as uh, being protected, such as her not have to, you know, uh, she's not li she's not obliged to spend on the household. She's not obliged to provide. She's not obliged. She she's pretty much treated like a queen in Islam. If you look at it from that point of view, 
I released a video a couple of days ago about uh, women, women in Islam beyond stereotype. I went through so many different things, speaking about it from, you know, uh, from the opposite way of, of feminism or opposite way of speaking about or against the objectification of a woman and so on and so forth. You can check the video. If you scroll down, it's called Women in Islam Beyond Stereotype. Tate, uh, when he mentioned that, that uh, that derogatory comment about a 25-year-old or 26-year-old has been more, uh, you know, uh, uh, quote unquote, used or or being, um, uh, you know, sh there are so many, as he says, so many mess up that he needs to clean up more than an 18-year-old 18 year or 19-year-old, and then Pierce Morgan, you know, he was fighting that type of sentence back and forth. And uh, in an Islamic point of view, you know, the, the, in Islam from day one, God Almighty tells the woman to cherish herself, to protect herself and, you know, to cover herself, to eliminate the imagination of sick, pe sick people out there and so on and so forth. Uh, when if, she, if, if the woman, you know, falls into fornication or adultery, she, she has the chance to repent and turn back to God Almighty, then all her sins will be forgiven if she actually regret what she did and she turned back to God Almighty. Her sins will be forgiven by God Almighty and as if her, she, her sheet will be wiped out like a clean sheet, like a newborn. This is Islam. There's no mess up that the husband needs to clean up. There's no things like that back and forth. All in all, uh, Islam, the way Islam looks at the woman is not 100% how like how Andrew Tate puts it forth not because someone is going to an extreme end we have we go to the other extreme if there's so many feminism and woke movement and things you know that uh, you know they degrade the woman or objectify the woman or use her as a product or an advertising in certain you know companies and things to gain profits we don't go to the other extreme and say that the woman should be treated like uh, like the husband's property. Who said the woman is a property for you or a company anyways? She's a property of God, just like you are a property of God. Uh, Andrew Tate, I hope, you know, he looks at Islam in a proper way and he looks in depth and he understands that, you know, Muslim women are sacred. It's not the derogatory terms that he throws here and there. And uh, I would like to give him credit that he said a couple of things that that is in line with the, uh, with, uh, with with the woman, but those misogynistic uh, comments, no place for it in Islam whatsoever. The things he mentioned could be related to the Christian tradition. It's not Islamic at all. Um, I don't know if he's using the Islamic narrative or using Islam, the word Islam or the Quran, or saying things that might appeal to sound cool to Muslim youth just to, I don't know if he's doing it to recruit more Muslim people in the internet to, for followers and so on and so forth. I'm not sure about that. There are a lot of people, you know, on YouTube, they use the word Islam. There's reaction to Muslim scholars. There's reaction to Quranic recitation just to get views. At the end of the day, they act like they're interested in Islam, but they're not Muslims. So I think it's best for Andrew Tate and Pierce Morgan to keep Islam out of their conversation since there's no Muslim between them speaking on behalf of Islam whether you mention the Quran whether you claim or you mention the burqas or people can't drive which is uh, has nothing to do with Islam at all whatsoever and uh, if you want to know about women in Islam check it out yourself in Islam check out the video that I posted a couple of days ago ask a Muslim scholar about women in Islam buy yourself a Quran it's multiple language worldwide and uh, السلام على من اتبع الهدى